Okay. The biggest part of this particular hall, Timu Hall 4, is uh, my perfume bottles. Instant collection is what I call them. These are so cute. Look at that. That is so cute. I ordered two of these. But there's no perfume going in these bottles. They're just so pretty and so cute. I had to get them. And I think it's because they're miniature. So look at that. Isn't that just the cutest? Wow. So cute. I love this. Pillowy. I don't know which is my favorite. But they're actually perfume bottles. You can add perfume to them. The little clay the little clay ones are just gorgeous. Look at that. Aren't those just the cutest? These are roll on and these are spray. But yeah, they are just the cutest little perfume bottles. I love them. Very, very cute. So, if I see any other ones that I haven't gotten, I'm going to grab them. So, but I like them. Hello there. This is Stephanie, and I'm back with another Tamu order. This is order number four, uh, or package received number four, but it actually has three orders crammed into this package so um just to give you an idea um the one order that i had with rings and bracelets had um i think there was some other stuff in there as well but rings bracelets primarily in that package there were 46 items Okay, and package number two that I ordered, that was mostly household goods and some some crafting items and some rings, uh, but mostly crafting items and a few household goods and uh, whatnot. Um, that package had 56 items. And I'm going to have to put my glasses on because everything just looks so blurry. I cannot see Okay, and then package number three, or order number three from this package contained 34 items, and those were uh, some crafting items and my instant collection of miniature um, perfume bottles with the roller things, a couple uh, uh, jewelry items, and the two what I thought were the two uh, blouses, they were actually pants. So two or two pairs of pants and a few household goods. But what I have here now, uh, first off, is to show I'm on the website so that I can um, tell you the correct name of these items. Um, so let's go, let's start out with uh, the ring sizer because that's easy and you know that's self explanatory um they actually sent me all the different types of ring sizers i'm not sure if that's all that came with what i ordered i guess so because i'm looking at the picture here and in the picture i'm gonna go to it here this is the picture. So it came with the barrel sizer. Um, the two, I had already ordered these, but this is different than what I ordered. Because what I ordered, as far as this is concerned, there's a little window where you can actually see what size your finger is. And then the little plastic uh, ring sizers the old-fashioned ones so that was uh, one package that I ordered it's called the ring size measuring tool plastic ring mandrel 
and uh, the ring sizer gauge with two pieces finger sizing for ring size stick jewelry mandrel and ring gauge finger sizer for jewelry making so and because I make jewelry this comes in handy I already have one um, it's it's uh, I think it's wooden it's not plastic and these I have one of these and I don't know where they are but this one I have that one right here near me in my mostly used tools um, bucket here on my desk but that's what that is <clears throat> and I know it's gonna come in hand handy because you know I make jewelry and I'm always ordering jewelry as well so um, next is the I'm okay I'm not gonna I'm only gonna use my phone if I have to okay remember when I said I, I mistakenly ordered two or three pairs of the uh, bead the bee earrings well here are those other two pair and aren't they just <laughs> they are so pretty I just don't have the heart to send them back because I love bees anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and keep these in addition to the first pair that I ordered so those will stay now I have some necklaces here and I have I think no this isn't a necklace this is actually a ring it says a white jade square ring so I'm gonna put that back in the box because I brought out my necklaces and the bracelets to open and this is a Christ a St. Christopher's uh, necklace and I'm trying to cut down on the noise today by cutting the packages open so I apologize in advance for the uh, paper noise I love the sound of paper so I don't mind and you know some crafters that deal with paper love the sound of paper as well so but I apologize in advance um, for that but here is the necklace isn't that a gorgeous chain that chain is beautiful is that box I can't really tell what kind of chain this is so but anyway it's the St. Christopher's or St. Michael I'm sorry it's the St. Michael I thought I ordered the St. Christopher but it's the St. Michael for protection is what it says on the medallion here and it's very pretty very very pretty so that's that <clears throat> okay and then we have um, this little oh I like that kind of closure it makes it easy to uh, measure around your neck and to get it on and off um, but this is another necklace it was decoration so um, I don't believe that it means anything or has any significant meaning behind it so I'm just looking it up here to see exactly the title of it um, on the package it doesn't say obscene oh okay it's the obscenian stone that's what it is that's why I ordered it because of the obscenian stone so that's what that is now this one I ordered for the amethyst stone I love obsidian and I love amethyst and I love these closures too wow so you know that it fits wow those are nice closures but that's the amethyst I love amethyst as well okay and then the bracelets that I ordered um, the volcano stones I'm not going to take them out of the package but these are the black volcano or volcano stones these are the uh, hematite stones I love the hematite because they're kind of heavy they are weighty these are this one is really light but the hematites are really weighty um, this is the malachite I ordered all my favorite stones that's why I have so many of these 
and the amethyst. Of course, I have to throw the amethyst in, the, in there because I love the amethyst. But I'll wear them all at once when I do wear them. Okay, that's it for the necklaces and the bracelets. And my two um, B pair of earrings. Okay, now this is a pair of earrings. I knew they were going to be big, but these are huge. Um, if you look at the picture of them on the uh, website, you'll see just how big they are. But they didn't come in silver, so I didn't have a choice. I had to wear them in gold. And I won't wear them often. I'll just wear them, um, you know, if, I'm, if I need a pair of gold earrings. Um, but let's see if we can measure these while they're in the package. So, um, let's see here. From this angle, from end to end, it's about three and a half inches across. Three and a half inches across. And then down by three and a half inches. So they're about three and a half by three and a half inches. And that should uh, tell you basically just how big they are if you're looking at a, 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 a ruler. Um, in centimeters, they are about nine centimeters. So they'll probably be nine centimeters across and nine up and down. Yeah, about nine. So, but they're real pretty. I think they're nice. Okay, now let's get on to some rings, all right? I'm going to pull them all out. Stand by. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, I did order quite a few pair of the uh, nose rings. So I have quite a few of those here. These are the regular rings that I ordered. And I also found another bracelet. This is garnet. And that is the reason why I ordered this bracelet. I love these closures. I love that. Because they're easy to tighten and untighten. Um, but yeah, this is a bracelet. And it's the symbol of love. I guess that's what... Uh, it's a, a rose. It says here, love... Garnet can help deepen a romantic love and strengthen the laws of attraction. Rose quartz is the stone unconditional love known uh, to, to have the strongest healing properties in respect of loves and relationships. Ruby quartz can help uh, foster the feelings of self-love and acceptance and boost your overall charm. So that's nice. I like that. So it's actually called the love bracelet and that's what the stones signify on that. Now this big package here, I don't know why they put this in such a big package. It's a little ring. Um, the Jade Square Ring. And it looks like I'm going to have to take this out because surely you can't see it through the plastic. I know I can't. Um, so let's give that a cut and see if we can get that out of there. I'm going to put them all back in this, uh, this bag here because it looks like this bag would be big enough to fit all of them. Okay. All right. So. Oh, and then they have it in another little bag. There it is. Isn't that gorgeous? That is really, really pretty. Wow. And it's actually resizable. So you can actually size it different sizes there. There. That's very pretty. Then this is called the um, the number nine. <laughs> so let me take these out so you can see them better. I don't have a little bowl here that I could put them in. 
But that, oh, that's got a little bit of weight to it. Wow. That's nice. And I can put it on any of my fingers because I can size it. I can even put it on my thumb because I can size it. But that's that rose gold. Isn't that really pretty? That's really pretty. And then we have this beauty here, the number nine. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Wow, that's very pretty. I like that black, that black there. I don't know, what would you call that? I really like that black. But isn't that pretty? That is beautiful. Very, very pretty. Let's take another one out. I'm trying to be really, really quiet with the paper noise because I know how annoying that can be. Um, okay, this is another stone, rose quartz it looks like. Number nine. All my rings come in size nine, so if uh, they're too big, I have those sizers. I also ordered those. But isn't that pretty? It's kind of weighty a little bit. It's very weighty, but it's pretty as well. Wow. Uh, I can't wear another ring beside it because it takes up a lot of space here. But that is very pretty. Okay. The ones I've looked at, I'm going to put back in the bag here. Okay, this is a cute one. This is called Bronze. And it's pretty neat looking. I thought it was neat looking, that's why I bought it. But yeah, it's got the feathers and the stones. That is really neat looking. I like it. I like that, that is very neat. And you can, you know, pull it apart or push it together to resize it. This one is called, it's actually called Silvery Number 9. <laughs> so they don't really have any names particularly for them except if they're, um, if they're a particular uh, gemstone. Oh. So that's basically a band that turns, this is like a mood band. Look at that, it's changing colors. Oh my God, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow, that is so neat. It's a mood stone. Remember the mood rings? I'm probably telling my age here, but remember the mood rings. I remember, because I had several. But yes, that is so neat. I'm gonna keep wearing that. See what other colors it changes to. Okay. And this is called the color 1.9 centimeters. Okay. Oh yeah. I got this one because it had that pretty stone. I think I ordered some earrings that matched it. This one is a little cheap looking. It almost looks like a tombstone, doesn't it? But it's it's got that pretty stone on it. I like it. This one is called the number nine again. We got a lot of them called the number nine. Let's see here. This is another band. I like bands. Ooh. Isn't that pretty? And this number nine will fit all of my fingers. This is actually a size eight finger, but sometimes it swells, so I can wear a nine on it. Um, and with an eight, if if they, you know, if if they um, 
reduce. I'm, sometimes I may have to put a guard in it, but most of the time I don't. But isn't that gorgeous? Wear the mood ring on my thumb. Wow. That is just stunning. You know what? I bought this ring to wear with my engagement ring. My, my ex-husband, uh, we divorced. He's passed on now, but I still wear the ring. And the only reason I wear it is because I don't want to lose it because I know it. Uh, he put a mortgage down on his house to, to get it. <laughs> but I bought this band to wear with this ring. Here, let's see. See, my finger's probably swollen. How does that look? Isn't that gorgeous? It's gorgeous. I don't want to put this ring on that finger because I don't want to wear it on that finger. So maybe I'll put this band on my other finger. That's pretty. That's very pretty. I think I'll keep that on. Okay, here are the rain guards that I bought for in case in case the rings are too big, uh, these are guards to go inside the ring. Okay, now this one is bigger than normal. Now some of these rings are um, they were they were um, listed as men's rings, but I still bought them in the size that I was looking for. This one is called the, um, I can't see. Oh, gosh. 68 Fang Cow House. Do you know what that means? I don't know. I have no idea. But that's what it says here on that package. And this one is very light. This is one of the last things that I ordered, and I'm really surprised that it's in this package. Huh. But it's pretty neat looking. I watch a lot of Shabby Dabby Duda, and she wears a lot of big rings. And so when I see a big ring, I'll order it. This is too small for this finger. Wow, this might be too small. I could wear it with the guard on the little finger. But it's neat looking. I could probably make one, but this is... I usually don't wear this color uh, jewelry. And you can tell it's really light. It's really, you know, costumey, fake looking. These two are really costumey looking. Okay, this one here is called... Number nine again. I like how they double package these. This that's pretty neat. Okay. Oh, you know what? This looks a lot better in person than it does on the site. This is very pretty. I like that hammered silver look. And oh, those stones are beautiful. Look at those. Wow. But that is really pretty. Oh, I really like that. This could be an everyday ring that I will wear. It's very pretty. Okay, and then in this pack here, there's a number of rings. They're all size number nine. Look how huge they are. Oh, no, this is one set. It's a set. Uh I stand corrected. It's not a number of rings. It's just a set of rings. Look how big they look, though. Wow. That's pretty big. And I wear a lot of costume jewelry. The jewelry that I I'm, I, I wear all the time is uh, usually um, eight, 18 karat gold. White gold is what I normally would wear. Wow, look how huge that is. That is humongous. Uh, 
<laughs> wow, that is big. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is really bulky. That is really bulky. Wow. Ah, I don't know what to say. It's really bulky. I mean, I can't wear another ring beside it because it's taking up so much real estate there. But it's very pretty. It's very pretty, but it's, and it's really light. It's not heavy, but it's bulky. Oh my goodness. Very bulky. Indeed. It's a pretty set though. So those were those rings. And that's it for the rings. Um, the rest that I have are going to be earrings and nose rings. Stand by. Okay, that's one set. Silver tone. Very pretty. It's the back of it. Very pretty. There's a nice pattern there on the side. I'm not sure you can see it, but that's what the design looks like there. Okay, where's my camera? Those are very pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay. These are one of the posts are bent. That post is bent there. They come with the backs. Very pretty white stone inside, clear stone. Those are real pretty. I'm gonna put them back in their bag so that I don't lose them. Okay. Okay, there's five pair here. One, two, three, four, five. Five pair here, and I believe I ordered these because I thought that they were nose rings. So, um, I was not planning on wearing them as earrings, but I guess you could to each their own. There's no harm in it. Um, this here may be a little bit too long to wear as a nose ring, though. But they're all very pretty. Silver tone. Okay, these are four pair of different colored earrings. The silver tone, the black tone. And this looks like a... I'm not sure what you call this. Hematite? Um, blue. This is called blue. But they're earrings. And... The way that they work, this one is called um, Color One Pair. That's all it's called. Uh, the way that they work is they come on. Let's see if I can get a pair out of here. Um, it's almost like they're uh, magnetic. Let me see if that's what I thought they were. So, so they're kind of weighty. These are really weighty. And I believe they're magnetic. Pull them out and then you put them on your ear. Oh no, they're not magnetic, but they hold. They hold. They'll hold on your ear, ear hold. You know, you can wear this as a fake septum if it doesn't bother you. That'd be very cute as a fake sept septum. But they're really weighty. All right, these are two pair um, of those screw-on ends earrings. Um, I love the colors of them though. I really love the colors. if they're going to focus. One pair is the, the larger pair is the six millimeter and the smaller pair is the three millimeter. 
Let's see if I can take them out. This is the six millimeter. I might have it up way too close. Okay, let's go down some. This is the six millimeter. And this is the three millimeter. Very, very colorful. Very, very pretty studs. I like them. these are called ear clips that's the same as the other ones that I just showed you um, these right here they're actually called ear clips um, but this right here goes into one ear and these were separate uh, black and silver but this goes around the lobe of your the upper part of your ear and then this clips uh, into your earlobe, your earring. Same thing with the black. And then these two are, they're called ear clips, but they're earrings. Those are really neat. I like them. All right, here comes the ring set. I don't like ordering these in sets because they are really fake looking and I don't really like the fake looking jewelry. But this is the silvery set that came in. Um, you can um, change the size of this. Let me move out some. You can change the size of just this one, it looks like. And oh, it's huge, but it's so fake looking. I just don't like, I don't wear that kind of jewelry that looks fake. I don't. I don't really like this. So this is more novelty, this set here. Uh, same goes with these. Just really novelty. That's just novelty. I don't like this set. I don't remember ordering it. I thought I, I, I may have, I thought I pulled it out of my buggy, but I guess not. But just very novelty, very fake looking. So I'm I'm more than likely will not wear this set. Um, I, it'd be something good to, you know, if you're going out and you want to wear them just to go with your outfit. But it's just, I don't like them, to be honest with you. I may send these back. Not sure. We'll see. Um, let's see here. Now, there are some other pieces in here that were, that are my, um, gosh, why did this come out? That are my, um, my nose rings. This, they came in two different colors, black and silver. And they're just nose studs to go into your nose. This right here, this is a fake septum or a fake nose ring. It's not real. So you don't have to have a pierced nose to wear it. You just wear it like right on the end of your nose there. Nostril. Um, this one, I think this is a fake septum. I used to have a septum and I just let it, you know, close up. But this is magnetic. And that's the reason I bought these. I bought a couple pair, maybe three pair, I'm not sure. But um, it's a septum, as you can see here. And, oh, look at that. I don't know why that's come off like that 
but they're magnetic. So you just put them on either side of your nose. Instant septum in your nose. Love it. <laughs> I love it because I loved my septum and I hated it that um, it closed up. And I actually got it re-pierced. Oh, my God. Water to your eyes just thinking about it. Um, and I said, I'm not going to get it re-pierced again. So I found these on Tamu. And I said, okay, here I go. I don't need to get it repairs because here's my fake septum right here. Here's another color. Right here. <gasps> that is a gorgeous color there. I like that. Wow. But I love that concept with the fake septum. I like it. Okay, and then here's another one that's a... Uh, a fake um, it's got a stone in it but it's a fake nose ring you don't have to have a piercing to to have it it's real pretty it looks like okay did I order this twice I think I did because they look the same it's the same stone white stone I think I ordered it twice hmm I'll keep them cuz I I have a lot of nose jewelry and you lose them. So I'll just keep it. Not a biggie. And that is all for the jewelry. Unless I find another piece of jewelry in the other boxes. But that's it for the jewelry portion. Thank you. Okay. Next, um, I'll go on to the craft items. And my nail is want to act stupid right now. Um, but these are my silicone molds that I ordered. This is called a miniature cup. And there was more than one kind, but I thought this was a real pretty color for one. But you can use them for measuring out. Um, it's a measuring cup. So they're actually used for measuring out like a pinch of salt or some a pinch of garlic or, you know, they're for really small size pinches of uh, measurement. So that's what this is for. It's called a miniature silicone cup. This right here is a, a mold for shot glasses. That's what this is. I don't want to make too much noise, so I won't. I'll open it up in a few minutes. This right here is a mold for rings, and they're different sizes of rings. But that's what this is. So that's small size. This is the larger size. And they're just for rings that look like this. Just looks like a silicone band. I noticed there's a, a lot of men are wearing those silicone bands now. Because, you know, they don't have to worry about being allergic to uh, metal and that kind of thing. These are silicone bottle tops. And, um... They're for, you know, uh... Your beer bottles or your wine bottles, if you don't have... Or, I don't know if they go on regular Coke bottles, but I actually have <laughs> a diet diet drink here. I could probably try it on that to see if it'll work for it. Uh, but, yeah, they're silicone, and they're for your bottle tops or your drink tops. Um, this right here is an ashtray mold. Remember these little ashtrays? But that's what that is. It's a mold. And this is also an ashtray mold, but this is a bigger one. And it also has a top to it as well. Um, you don't have to use it as an ashtray mold. You can actually use it, um, make one. This is to close, close it up. This is the top for closing. So it'll swing open like that if, when you're not using the ashtray. You just cover it up to close it. Um, this right here, if you don't want to use it as an ashtray, you can use it to hold your rings um, or bracelets. 
So, um, but you can make it and use it as a ring holder or a bracelet holder too as well. So that's what that is, but it's an ashtray mold here. You see the cutouts for the cigarettes and the cigars, um, and probably a pipe, pipe opening there. Put the top back on. And this right here I just showed you is actually a silicone mold for shot glasses. Only reason I got them is because I just started this resin thing and I've really been buying whatever kind of mold I can get. Um, I bought this because of the large letters, but it's also a mold, a silicon mold for letters and uh, just symbols, really. There's no numbers on this one. But I made a little tag box and I wanted to uh, put the words tags on the side of the box so that's the reason why I bought these okay that's it for the mold okay a few crafting items here this is what you would use to put in to hold your page open in a book so if you're a reader uh, let's see if I can find a book around here <laughs> all my books are on uh, Kindle so let's pull this out okay this is a journal I started and let's say you needed to hold the page open in your book that's what this is for it's used to hold open the page and these pages are thicker than normal pages so it's not really doing a very good job but that's what that's that's what that use is for this is used for to hold your pages open in a book if you're um, using a cookbook and you you want to hold that cookbook open just use one of these that's what this is I'm not sure of the name of it but it's a book holder opener that's what I call it all right <clears throat> These are just um, cooking utensils. I'm, I'm, I think they're used for, let's see what's it say? Blue ashtray. These can't be ashtrays. It says blue ashtray. I'm not sure unless it's um hmm that's weird maybe they're molds to make a blue ashtray i'm not sure i'd have to read up on that i'm not positive on this one what this is exactly i thought they were used for baking that's not what i got them for i'm sure so i'll have to look at the name of these to be for sure of what exactly these do but it says blue ashtray um, it must be some type of uh, this is the color this is the mold and it makes the ashtray I guess with your resin you could use it with the resin this is the color and then uh, once it hardens instant ashtray instant blue ashtray at that so I think that's how that is supposed to work I got these right here for um, just crafting items got the two different colors this says it's an ashtray cleaner don't ask me how it's supposed to work because I do not know but it says there's 30 pieces in here. I'm not sure what's all in here. But it looks like it's some of this blue stuff as well. And it says ashtray cleaner. That's all I know. Um, these are, I think they're coin envelopes. They're big for coin envelopes. 
I think that's what they are. I bought them for my crafting. Um, yeah, they're coin envelopes. They're just huge coin envelopes. I'm used to the coin envelopes being about half the size. That. And then this right here is used for diamond painting. You put your little stones in the little cups and um, you can it has a spoon for dipping a brush for I guess brushing the only thing I would use on this would be this cup thing here to hold the stones the different colored stones so that's what I got that for because I do a little bit of diamond painting I got some projects that I haven't finished yet so but I do do diamond painting too sometimes <laughs> not all the time as you can tell because I haven't lately um so alright that's that stuff okay moving on more crafting stuff these are those paper doll like um items sort of like um they got a lot of white around them I don't usually like the all that white but you can use them in your crafting projects with your uh, journals and that kind of thing. These are paper scrap. And they're 8x8. Eight eight. I believe they're 8x8. Eight eight. Let me just make sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 8x8. Eight 8x8. Eight. Eight Oh, it doesn't have an example of all the pictures. But that's one with the butterflies and the nice pretty pastels on that. And then this one is Alice in Wonderland. And then this one is the one with the corsets or I guess you would call that Victorian. I'm not sure. Princess Retro Court. Okay. This one is called Hydrenta. That's what that's called. That's those. And then I have some one pack of um silicone rubber clear stamps those are small the perfume bottles ink bottle medicine bottle smaller than what I expected <clears throat> and then I have some um, stencils here this one I have been eyeing this for a while I got this because I don't have it in my stencil collection. I like that background pattern there. Lace patterns. And then I like this background pattern too. But that's stencils and background paper. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go back. I actually had an extra pair of these in the box that I didn't see. So I ordered two antique colored and two gold colored. Okay, I guess you can see it. All right, and I figured out some things. This is actually called... Uh, disposable, eco-friendly, smoke-free scent ashtray for car, home, or a party. And this is what the picture looks like on the site here. So you just, I guess this is, turns into some type of silicone bead maybe. And um, you put your ashes out or your cigarettes out or your cigars out in that substance there. And it has a nice, fresh scent. 
So um, that's what that is. <clears throat> this right here. Ooh, these are. I'm going to read to you exactly what they are. Okay, it says these are uh, silicone wine bottle cover, beer cover, round soft glue stopper, wine bottle cover, or fresh keeping beer cover for kitchen. That's what these are. They're six pieces. So basically you can use them for whatever you want. Um, I've never seen a glue opener that was that big, but anyway, I guess. Okay, here's the biggie, the big mistake I just made here. Okay, and I have to tell you what those are. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, this is called, it's a one piece. Silicone shot glass ice mold. That's what this is. Ice cube trays for freezer with four cavities. Ice shot glass mold, reusable whiskey glass ice cubes, holds one ounce each or 1.3 inch ice shot glass molds and tray. So I guess you can create the mold for your ice cube, pour your drink, your shot drink in there, and it's going to be ice cold. Or just put them in your drink. Put the shots glasses in your drink, <laughs> and it'll be nice and cold. So let me go get me some Kool-Aid and put shot glass ice cubes in there. <laughs> Cute always something but that's what those things are there next I have this right here and I bought this for uh, journals for my journaling is called the practical witches spell deck apprentice witch card so it's actually gonna be used for a uh, a journal So, um, it's not going to be used for anything other than that. Just putting cards in a journal, making them into tags, or even cutting them up. That's what this is going to be used for. So, it's all part of the crafting. I am not a witch. I don't proclaim to be one, and I don't practice any type of craft like that. Um, these right here are okay let me find them oh those big yellow envelopes were cash envelopes that's what those were cash envelopes okay gentlemen Okay, I'm in the wrong delivery thing here. Emerald Green Reading Access. The name of that book reader thing that I showed you is called a Green Reading Accessory Clip Thumb Book Holder. That's what that's called. Um, let's see here. Go back. Okay. St. Michael. Fake nose ring. I ordered one. Air clips. Those are all stainless steel. Okay, I'm trying to get to these.
and of course I opened up the wrong one okay I found them these are uh, they're actually this is what they look like on the site and they have different ones um, they have the music I think I ordered one of each but they have the music the mystery unsolved mystery X files um, the music Oh, X-Files again. Gosh. Anyway, it's like a washi tape, almost. That's what it is. It's like a washi tape. Because they, they're, they call them decorative stickers. So I call that washi tape. And plus, it's in a roll, so it's washi tape, basically. And then I have my... Uh, and then I have my metal cutting dies. This is just alphabet. This is a lot smaller than I was expecting. But that's okay. Um, I guess what I was going to use it for was actually going to be about this size. So I guess that's okay. But they're bows. They're different shaped bows. Um, there's another one here. Hopefully I'm in view, camera view. Another flower, metal die, or leaves, branches, uh, layering flower. Hopefully I'm in view here. Some other layering flowers, Some more layering flowers. This is like a doily or a wreath. I guess I would call it more of a doily. And that's it for the crafting. Okay, the two items of clothing that I ordered. Um, I think they were on back order. I'm not sure. But they're pants. And they're the wide boho style uh, big leg pants. Um, that's what these are with pockets. So I think maybe I added them on. I saw them and I was like, oh, I want those. And so I added them on to that order. So what I've been trying to do now is just order in categories. So my next few orders that I have just sitting waiting to be ordered are in categories. And then I want to space the orders out as well. Um, so they don't all come as as one or get put together. Uh, because when I get them in the categories, I would rather have one bag of jewelry, one bag of crafts, one bag of household like that. I don't want them mixed in like this order and my last order came in. So that's what those were. Okay, now on to the household good stuff. These, I ordered one of every one that they had because they were so, so cute. And I already have one um, that I ordered. And I was like, I need more of these. <laughs> so I'm going to give my mom some. And uh, I'm going to keep some. Uh, but these are just the cutest little things. And they have the cutest little tops to them. Look at that. That is so cute. The, the little caterpillar, um, strawberry, um, the little, I don't even know what to call it, thingy. Here's the strawberry. I think I ordered two strawberries. Anyway, this is the yellow one that I've opened. You just, this one, I didn't have to do this with the last one that I had. It just came as one piece, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But you just put it in the little hole there. And all it's for is to cover up your cup. So I brought my little, I don't have a cup on me, so I brought a little um, jar here to show you. So if you're drinking coffee or a soda and you don't want bugs or flies to fly into them, you know how you like those bugs that fly into your, they fly around your hot coffee and that uh, steam kind of <laughs> makes them 
fall down into your coffee cup. Well, no more of that because you just get this and you cover your cup with this. And it actually, the uh, there's actually suction uh, that keeps it on your cup. But I really like it. I really liked it when I uh, ordered that other one. But yeah, they work really good, especially on hot items because that steam kind of pulls that suction in and you, this part here will be nice and sweaty from the steam. But that's what that does and I think it's just the neatest thing. So I ordered one of one of each one that they had and uh, I'll probably give my mom half of them. And I mean, you have people over, you're outside, you're drinking soda, you know, it just, everybody has one, their own. Put it over their cup so you know whose cup it is, okay? All right. These are bags. <laughs> I got them for garbage bags for my kitchen. And um, I use, like, I buy the, the small garbage bags from Amazon, and I use them for, you know, the dog poop. Um, and the, the dog, um, uh, the kennel junk that I have in there that I have to clean up from in there. But yeah, these are going to come in handy because you can use them as, you know, your small garbage cans liners, but that's what these are, garbage can liners. 75, it says here, <clears throat> and I'm thinking maybe a 75 on each uh well 75 on each roll is what i'm thinking but anyway i thought it was a good deal so i bought that now these all three have the same use i just i bought one for each bathroom but they're floor drain covers um and that's why i have two of these um, this right here is another one that kind of keeps the hair out of your drain and, uh, but it goes, it's also a floor drain cover as well. And it has directions on how to, uh, adhere it to your floor drain and your shower or wherever you want the floor drain to, or wherever you have a floor drain that you want to install it. These are called Goodwill Hooks. Um, I don't know why it says duct tape on there. <laughs> I have no idea. But I got these so that I could put over my uh, back door so I can hang a curtain on my back door because my back door that leads out to my patio is like this big pane of glass and I hate it. I've tried to use the uh, the window covers or you know that that sticky not sticky but this the window uh, covering that you can put on your glass. I've tried that so I wanted to try this to see if I could just, instead of, you know, putting a nail in the wall to try to nail up a curtain rod, um, I wanted to try this and see how this would work. And I might, if it works real good, I might order more and use them for my patio because my patio is all windows. And I don't know, I'm scared to try to put a hole in the, in the uh, wall because it's not really wood out there. It's aluminum. So um, I want to try to find some more so I can hang curtains um, outside there on my patio. Okay. This is a thing to get junk out of your broom. So it's like a broom brush. And I don't have the proper name for it, but I would have to look it up here on my list here of things that I uh, 
got here in the mail. Hang on. Okay, it's called a household broom hair removal comb removal cleaning tool for cleaning the hair and dust on the broom. Bathroom, sewer, hair collectors, whatever. That's what this is used for to to get that hair out of the broom. You know how it is when you're trying to sweep and uh, you just can't get it because you got all this junk in the broom and I'm step I step on my broom to try to get it off of there and but this will relieve that issue. So that's what this is. Okay, these are called uh one piece here and it's got um five hooks or six hooks. Six hooks. And um, this is adhesive that goes, it goes on your wall. And um, you can use it in your kitchen or your bathroom. Um, I bought two. Well, one I'll put in my kitchen. I'll probably put the gray one in my kitchen because I don't, white won't go in my kitchen with these. Um, so I'll put the two white ones in the, ba in the bathrooms. And then the gray ones I'll probably put uh, I probably use one for my craft room. Um, maybe uh, a gray one for my craft room. Have one for the kitchen. Maybe two for the kitchen. I could hang um, utensils on it or towels. But definitely in the bathroom where I can hang a towel or two on it. Washcloths um, or whatever else I need to hang up. So, that's what this is. This is what it looks like on the site. Give you some idea. But I bought four. So, hopefully they work. We'll see. I'm sorry. It, it actually, this one was apart. It came apart. So, it's real easy to put together. It takes like five seconds, ten seconds maybe. So these just, they have a little hole there and you just put it on the little, little, uh, hook they have there for the hole. And I mean, you can, if you need to, they swivel around. So if you don't have a wall, if you have a wall, like on a corner and you want to put one side on one wall and the other side on another wall, that's like an L shape. You can do that because they, they swerve around. And before you do that, though, you want to put your hooks on. And they just slide on like so. Real simple, real easy. Even my two poodles can put this together with no forethought at all. None whatsoever. They're so smart. Um, and then it just sits on that little peg there. And it's all one piece except for these are separate and this is separate but it's real easy to put together very smart okay this is called a transparent leaf shaped soap dish bathroom toilet free punch drain soap holder soap box for bathroom and kitchen. I bought two of these because I have two bathrooms. <laughs> so I bought two of everything. Sometimes three. But it also has the little thing here if you put it in the shower, if you want to hang it up against your tile, whatever. It has the suction cup. But yeah, the soap just sits in here and it doesn't slide out. It doesn't slide out because there's the stop there to stop it from sliding. But that's what this is. And, of course, I bought two. Because I buy two of everything. A lot of times, three of everything. This one doesn't have a suction cup in it, though. Maybe it's in the box. But, um, I didn't realize this one had a suction cup until it fell out of the little bag here. Uh, but, yeah. 
that's that. Make sure I'm not throwing the structure cup in the garbage. Okay. I'm sure you can figure out what this is. It's a, a surface brush, basically. You can use it for washing dishes, um, washing your floor, washing your sink, washing your tub. Um, wait a second here. I'll get to it to get the proper name for it here. Okay, it's called the Bendable Cleaning Brush. That's all it is. And it is definitely bendable. So, I like that. Bristles are nice and hard. Stiff bristles. That's what that is. These are called the uh, Multifunctional Auxiliary Handle. And they just adhere to whatever you want them to adhere to and there's a knob that you can use for pulling open you know homemade drawers um, I bought them for crafting basically not for the house hold things um, so and they're small too um, there's two pieces of pieces invisible knobs no punching self self adhesive Sliding door cabinet drawer knobs. Cabinet door knobs hangers. Um, that's what these are. And there's two in the pack. I don't know why I didn't buy more of these. Uh, I don't know why. Especially when I'm going to use them for crafting. Wow, I can't believe I didn't buy more of them. This right here is a little doohickey that you use to hold your screwdriver so you can screw uh, a screw into your wall or whatever. But this holds the screwdriver here and then your screwdriver um, head goes in there and holds it still for you. And you hold this up against the wall like that. And you screw it screws let me make sure that's what this is that's what the picture um, looked like when I when I looked at this and I was like oh my goodness this is such a good thing to have because I have so many problems trying to keep a screw still when I'm trying to drill it into the wall and it's just doesn't cooperate with you and um, you're there fiddling with it all day so um, that's what this is called it's, uh, it says a generic plastic screw holder clamper fixing set screw screw holder bit fitting sleeve woodworking tool this is what it looks like and here are some of the pictures that it demonstrates. You know, you put the screw there and you screw. Oh, I had it backwards. You screw from the other end. The screw is from this end here. So, there it is. I actually think it's going to be a great little tool for me. Um, the next thing is a curtain cutter, and I think I only ordered it because it's just the cutest little thing. Isn't that just the cutest little thing? I have a mini cutter, or it's like a, a drill or a saw, and it's just a little bitty thing, but it's, it's heavy duty. Um, but this had a demo, this demonstrated on the website too. Um, someone cutting an item with it but it's basically a box cutter or you know electric box cutter and I'm presuming that you have to use batteries 
um, I don't see where it says you need batteries, but it has to be batteries operated. Yeah, this is probably the compartment where their batteries go. But I thought it was just the neatest little tool, so I'm going to like that. As many boxes as I get, oh yeah. And this right here, I bought this for my car. Oh, 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 actually, no, that's not what these are for, but you can use them. They have other ones that they buy that they have for the car that you can put on your hand. These go on your shoes. And as you're walking around your rooms, if you have like, um, hardwood floors or ceramic floors or vinyl floors you know they're not carpeted use these on your shoe to walk around and sweep your floor as you sweep or you know as you're walking around your kitchen or whatever so that's what those are for and that's why there's two of them and um that's the reason i bought those is for that reason. Okay, I have a few novelty items here. This here is used, it's a suction cup that goes in your shower. I don't know why I didn't buy two of these because I have two bathrooms. Um, but this goes around your shower head if it's one of those ones that, uh, if you have like a dual shower head or the shower head comes off of the, of the, uh, it's not connected with the, uh, top of your shower, you can actually remove it and rinse yourself off with it. Um, but this suction cups onto the shower wall and, uh, this goes around the shower head. And, you know, my shower head, a lot of times, it falls because if it's not up there right, as soon as I turn on the shower, the water pressure makes it fall. And this would prevent that from happening. So that's what this is. Um, this isn't really novelty. This is more like crafting, but it's for nails, nail art. And um, you, you can use it for, you know, that sh real shiny mirror type of uh, finish. That's what these are used for. Oh, they are. They're really just sponges that you can use for, like, different nail art techniques. But I bought one for my nail stuff. And I bought another one for my art stuff. For <laughs> my craft stuff. And I bought another one that I'll just split up between my nail art and my craft. So, I don't know why I bought three, but I did. <laughs> so, there's that. Okay, this cute little novelty item here. This is a serious novelty item. I just thought it was just the cutest, so I got it. This is actually... A fake silver tooth it goes on your tooth it's fake it's not real silver but that's what it is you just put it over your teeth your tooth one tooth and I've always wanted a silver or a gold tooth I think well back in my parents day and age they you know they did that kind of stuff the dentist did that kind of stuff for you now it's, you know, people do it just for the heck of it. I want to say stupidity because they get all their teeth grilled. Uh, so, but I just wanted one tooth. And you can take it off. You can take it off, put it on, put it wherever you want it, uh, in your mouth, on your tooth. Take it out when you want to brush your teeth. Um, but that's what this little item is there. Really novelty. 
this is this goes over uh, this is for ingrown toenails so this helps this goes over the top of your toe that has the ingrown nail and it helps straighten the nail out on on your nail bed toenail bed that's what these are for when I first saw them I looked at them and I was like why would I order these? These are for nose strips. <laughs> and I was like, but there's only six. So, but that's what these are for. Toenails. Ingrown toenails. Um, I'm not real sure what these are because <laughs> they're flat. Um, these are just rubber bands for hair. I have really long hair. And uh, it gets in the way a lot. And I don't want to cut it. So <laughs> that's what those are. These are another novelty item. And I thought they were just the neatest little thing. But you hold your hamburger or your sandwich with these. That's what these are used for. It's silicone. So they're real, really flexible. Don't ask me why I ordered two. I ordered two of everything. I'm surprised I didn't order three. But that's what these are. Um, uh, they call them food tray. Uh, f food tray extendable hamburger. Um, rectangle. Uh, retractable. Wait. Retractable. Retractable retractable burger fixed box adjustable hamburger holder I don't, I don't see how they're adjustable anyway um, I can't read with these glasses on uh, reusable washable hamburger clip silicone rack holder burger box this is what they look like on the site so that's what those are. Novelty. 